Hello my yogis and welcome to my alignment tip series. Today we're gonna do side crow. So as this is not how-to tutorial, it's alignment tips. So I'll share with you tips that helped me on my journey to my side crow. Because I actually kind of, uh, it's kind of a way that you can fake it till you actually make it. So until you get the strength to actually do it. So let's start straight away. So for a side crow, first thing that can actually really help you here is the same thing I said in my uh, crow tutorial is actually instead of placing your hands in correct alignment you can open your hands a little bit on the side so let's start with that so placing our hands wider not wider just opening to the side and now we will use our well for me that's my left elbow here so uh, left elbow to actually place it on the hip and then just lean forward then I'm just leaning forward and even before I get into my crow I can use my head so if I'm struggling with balance I can lower my head to the floor place my hands and uh, uh, legs in correct alignment and then maybe I can press up into the side crow so even if it doesn't work straight away, eventually, if you do this only a few times, believe me, at least in some days of your practice, you will be able to, will be able to lift up. And then eventually you can work towards the correct alignment. So it's not that hard to correct it. So because you will gain your balance and strength really fast in this one at least that happened to me and then you can work towards actually strengthening your hands in correct alignment and instead of leaning here you can start maybe just leaning to the front a hand um, putting your legs in correct alignment and just working in your side crow here and working in your chest opener so for me this was kind of really good fake version and it really only in very like a few months time i actually managed to do a correct side curl from here so you can always lean on your head and then curl your fingertips in and come up so you always want to have this gripping action so because usually your weight will come onto the heel of your palm and then to actually lift up you want to start squeezing your fingers into the ground and then actually activate your hands and lift up from the floor so my yoga that's it i hope this will help you in your yoga journey journey and i hope i'll see you again namaste